So, here it is, my closing monologue. If you've made it this far, then you have watched this entire show, and for that, I am grateful. I hope you enjoyed watching me, and I hope I gave you good food for thought. I think I will give you a little more input. Water on Mars. I've been hearing reports about this since I was a little boy, but there was never condensed proof. Sure, the ice caps seem to indicate water on Mars, but ice caps can also be dry ice formed without water. But now the discovery of condensation is actually pretty acceptable as proof of water on Mars, despite the fact that it recedes during the day and actually doesn't mimic a pattern on Earth. After all, the condensation on grass on the front lawns disappear during the day, so maybe Earth and Mars do have some shared characteristics after all. Secondly, I would like to talk about Andy Throcho. There's a saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. This woman has a $40,000 to $50,000 watch. I am actually a regular watch of Andy Throcho, so people assuredly find this people boring, but I find an interest in it. It shows things of value that we can find in front yard sales that are worth huge value. So who knows what lies hidden in the house? Could be $50,000. After that, I talked about Justin Bieber. Ugh. I really don't feel the need to rehash that story, especially since I defended him and agree with his logic. I finished with telling a manic depressive bipolar episode. I like to find my polar disorder to you. Bipolar disorder is an affective in disorder characterized by periods of mania, alternating periods of depression, usually interspersed with relatively long intervals of normal mood. The frustration of things not going your way, that is living with bipolar disorder. Well, I think this all wraps up with this episode of Bipolar Opposites. I hope you'll come back next week with another all new episode. Until then, I'm coming out.